but I'm gonna say one thing. And that just lets you know right there that this is the truth. Because why would the top people on earth steal this nationality? Mm -hmm. Why would they steal Jacob's uh, uh, a heritage? Because they know these top people, these rats, they know that the everlasting world to come, the everlasting dominion is given unto only the Israelites. Okay, and they know that the, that the so-called, uh, they know that the Judah, Judites are the top tribes, but it's all tribes together, but they know that they're the top tribe. So, of course, they're going to want to steal, you know, they're reigning right now, they're going to want to steal the best of the best. You know, see these, these rats going around calling themselves Muslim or Islam, they're not going around saying uh, Aki or, or, or uh, uh, worshiping Allah, okay? Because they know that shit's bullshit. It's the shit that they put out, their forefathers put out. All that uh, Catholicism, Muslim Islam is under the umbrella of Catholicism. Mm -hmm. That's why everybody can be a Muslim, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. That's just another, like I said, that's just another device of these devils, man. That's just another Satan's device. And, 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 and Satan, these rats, these devils, wants to be Judah, they want to be, uh, they want to be Israelites, because they know that the Israelites are the chosen people of the only living power. Uh, like, like, you know, back, you know, back up what you were saying too, man. They chose to be Judah, man. And I ain't even, you know what I'm saying? They really think that they're Judah. You ask any one of them, what tribe you from? They'll say we're spiritually Judah. Or they're Judah, man. There's no spiritual Israelites, man. You ask them, where the other tribes are? Yeah. The second question you ask them, not that, uh -huh. there is no, there is no other tribes. There's no other <laughs> tribes, we're all spiritual Judah. I heard someone say that, man. A, so, a, a rat say that. They're all spiritual Ju uh, tribe of Judah, man. When that's, that's, no, all the tribes are still here. The prophecies talk about it, man. We're going to be, all, all the tribes are going to be in the kingdom. But they chose to, they chose to be uh, so-called Jews because we're the best of the best, man. That's it. So-called Latinos, Negroes, and Latinos are the best of the best, man. When people play basketball and stuff, they act to be, they, they want to be Jordan and LeBron. They don't want to be, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, Steve Kerr, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't want to be that. They want people you know, playing wrestling, they want to be The Rock or Stone Cold. They want to be Vishra or Goldust, man. This is Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 19. Oh, Yahweh, my strength and my fortress, my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanities, and things wherein there is no profit. That's right. And those other nations know that power is not, they don't have no power, man. When that good king, man, asked him what he believed in, he said nothing. Heathen. I mean, he heathen. said out of his mouth, that's the spirit too. He said, I'm a heathen. I said, what? We was, like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a heathen. He said it out of his own mouth. We didn't even call him a heathen. We would say he may, may, may be, a, you know what I'm saying, a tribe, a tribe of spirit by the spirit. His spirit, out of his own mouth, man, he said he was a heathen, man. And, and, and Moab got nothing but straight vanity, man. They worship anything, cat, dog, tiger, anything, man, a claw. They, 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 they that's just vanity for real, man. And they, that's what they know. That's why they'll come over here in America and, 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 and conform to this world, too. All these other nations will come to America and conform to this world because they all, all the Gentiles know that they have no true power. That the Israelites, that's the only true power, man. In the scripture, I'm gonna read it again. It says, Oh, Yahweh, my strength, uh, Jeremiah 16 and 19. Oh, Yahweh, my strength, my fortress, my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. So, Twofold, because a lot of, like I just brother said, a lot of these rats, okay, the lower level rats, because these are the top elites, they know that they're not the true Jews. They know that they're the, they're, they're the, they're the uh, sons of Edom, Esau, okay? But these lower level rats, they actually been beguiled to actually think that they are the true, the true children of Israel. But when, you know, all hell breaks loose and the scripture says that this shall my chosen be known, they're going to see that the men that you have in derision, these men that you that you uh, 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 scoffed at and you hissed at, that those are the true uh, men of the Lord, they're going to realize that they inherited uh, uh, lies and vanity, these uh, these rats. And twofold, these Gentiles, talking about these uh, Israelite foreigners who worship uh, Caesar Borzev, who are in Islam, who are, who, who are in this Christianity, American state of mind, 
Once they when on all hell all, all that hell breaks loose and they start to call on Allah and they try to call on on uh, of Jesus Christ and nothing comes nothing happens, they're gonna realize that they inherited lies that they've been they've been they've been passed down from generation that you're supposed to uh, worship Jesus Christ, you're supposed to worship uh, this image because that's your savior. And then when all hell breaks loose, they're not gonna have no they're not gonna have no uh, 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 no um, fortress. They're gonna realize that they inherited lies and everything that they thought, everything that they've been going to church every Sunday is just a complete vanity. Mm -hmm. This guy doing his uh, his he probably haven't done a fucking uh, the, the shahada, the, yeah, the, the pilgrimage Hodge. to Mecca to Mecca Hodge. shit. He ain't do that shit. But all that shit that Jake do, because you do have Jake's actually mm -hmm. do that shit. They gonna realize they done that is that's bullshit. That this is the only real thing. That this truth mm -hmm. of the Bible is the only real thing. And they gonna realize that they inherited uh, vanity. Because if it's not a, if it's not the truth, it's vanity. It's worthless. It has no value. Money, uh, false religions, <laughs> girls, cars, everything in his life is is temporal and vanity. That's why Solomon said, uh, uh, I, I, I searched out wisdom and I searched out folly, and I uh, come to the conclusion that everything is vanity of vanities. Everything in this life is, is just pointless. But people put so much energy into this shit that it's just it's crazy. And that's a crazy thing too, like the brother's saying, man, no Gentiles they gonna wake up and be like, yo, we, we inherited lives. Especially when the Al Shai come back, they're gonna really know because even in the Quran, like that, you know, he said, Oh, you believe in, you know, white people religion, whatever the case may be. A lot of people believe this Christianity is a white man's religion, true. But this the scriptures is the truth, man. And in the in the Quran, it tells you what? That Muhammad and uh Jesus was white. But the scriptures let you know that who you ignorantly called Jesus Christ was a so-called dark dark skinned man. So even though people they, they don't read in that book in that book, he's talking about the Bible's not conduct contradiction, not at all. Because through in and throughout the the, um, the Bible, the Israelites were people of color, or people of color. And Once who has the most? Who has the biggest problem with that? Israel. Israel. Uh -huh. They have the biggest problem with that. Israel. It's, just, it. it's so it's so amazing how Israel does not want Israel to be Israel. <laughs> and that's how they hate knowledge, man. Hate knowledge because that's the edification that we're bringing out. People say, "Oh, hold on, what?" The, the Messiah is not white, he's black. Yeah, it says it in the scripture. And then that's why the scripture said, turn at me, be proof. You're supposed to turn and understand, well, how, prove it that he's so-called uh, uh, a dark skin. And then we prove it, and then, you know what I'm saying, that's next, what he's supposed to take with the it. The next thing he said, well, after you prove it, they say, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. then it doesn't <laughs> matter, right? After, after you prove it. No, he didn't. I'm bring out this though. This is Hosea chapter four, verse six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because they have rejected knowledge read that part again because they have rejected knowledge that's right rejected knowledge man this truth right here this is the only knowledge man and the only way only way we can get that is once you start fearing the Lord first man knowing that you're an Israelite coming into the truth keep keeping the Lord's statute commandments then you get the true knowledge wisdom and understanding then you find out that the prophets in the world of color, that the Israelites were of color, that the Israelites are you so-called Latinos, Negroes, and Native Americans. But that's the knowledge that our people refuse, and they'll walk down the street and continue to be and go to this Christianity BS church, man, and keep giving this pastor all their money, or go to these uh, mass jets and continue to pray to Allah, man, an Arab uh, 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 power that is, that is that has no power, man says, because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. And that's right. You're you, you, going to get rejected. You know what I'm saying? What is that? The beginning of knowledge? Oh, no, no. The beginning, the beginning, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So if you're not fearing the Lord, you're not even going to understand. You're not going to want to hear, oh, I'm an Israelite. You're not going to want to hear, stop eating shrimp, pork, crab, and lobster. Why would, why would someone tell you to stop, to not eat that, man? It's in the scriptures for, uh, first and foremost, but why would men out in the street in Elizabeth, New Jersey and Broad Street tell you to stop eating shrimp, pork, crab, and lobster? Because it makes you unclean. That's knowledge. Simple things like that, people don't want to hear that. I ain't want to hear that, man. I was in the supermarket uh, yesterday, man. No, two days ago. And I'm sitting there, you know, I get back on my healthy thing, man. I'm getting herbs and stuff. And in uh, Northern Tribes, she walked past and said, I need pork. You don't. How you need pork, man? When the scripture said, don't eat it. 
Once you find out that that junk destroy your body, man, pork is the one of the only is the only meat I believe that create worms from itself, man. You leave a pork chop on the floor in the heat, it'll start to cre uh, create worms. You put that Pepsi, uh, uh, put some Pepsi on pork, it'll create worms. Those same worms are in your body right now, manifest, manifesting, man. But you tell, you tell, that's knowledge. You tell someone that, and they'll, they'll just keep it moving, man. Keep it trucking, man. We'll tell somebody the, the, the order of the, uh, uh, the, the order of the household according to the, the heavenly Father, according to the scriptures. They don't want to hear that either, man. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, who you only call the Most High God, all right? You call God. Yahweh Shai, his only God's son, who you only call Jesus Christ, the man, the woman, and the child, man. Our people don't even want to hear that. Nah, nah, get out of here. My kids come first, B. <laughs> How your kids come first if you're not right? How you going to love your kids if you don't love yourself? How you gonna love your kids, but you eat, you, you let your kids eat shrimp, pork, crab, lobster, eat McDonald's, Wendy's, all that bull crap, man. Uh, so doing celebrating Halloween. Celebrating Halloween. Going into uh, Christmas, uh, Black Friday, and uh, uh, Thanksgiving. Now, if, if you saying you, your kids come first, B, how come you can't control whether your kid lives or dies? You gotta, you gotta, you can't control what they learn or what they, you know what I'm saying, how they carry themselves, man. You gotta do everything according to the system. You gotta go to school, gotta get shot. Blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? You can't even control what they eat if you, if you under the, um, but the, the food assistance shit, because they give you nothing but a bottle of foods, a processed food. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, then, and you can get the, the top dollar. You won't get a real cheese. They'll give you some fake cheese if you want a, a wick. You'll get American slice. That's not even cheese, man. That's fake cheese. They'll get that shit to you for free, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that that's the... You bring that back, Bubba Kasha? This is um, Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because they have rejected rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. Now, it's not talking about this worldly knowledge, man. Because everybody think they the smartest person in the, on, on, on the face of the earth because they got so-called street knowledge or so-called knowledge, uh, so-called okay. GED, book knowledge, or GED, or uh, high school diploma, or, or PhD, master's degree, or trade. You know what I'm saying? You think you got it all figured out? That's not the knowledge it's talking about. The knowledge of the scriptures, man. Who, knowing who you are so you know where you, how you gonna go. Because if you're a heathen, you're going into slavery, man. Uh, if you're a so-called Edomite, so, uh, if you're an Edomite, a so-called white man, you're, being dis you're gonna be destroyed, man. Definitely. A thousand years of slavery, and then you, you're, you're, gonna be, you're gonna be extinct, man. Like the so-called dinosaurs, man. They not yeah, they, yeah. yeah, they they so-called dinosaurs. Cause they not extinct, man. Um. And you gonna find that soon enough when the Leviathan come out, man. It says that thou shall be no priest to me, seeing that seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. That's right, man. Because being an Israelite, a so-called Latino, Negro, Native American, you're supposed to be coveting prophecy. You should be actually wanting to get this truth, wanting to know this knowledge, wanting to know the law, the true law, and not sugarcoat it with these with the, with the churches do, because they don't tell you to keep the laws, man. Simple thing is not eating no. shrimp, pork, crab, and lobster. Simple thing is not smoking to finally a temple. Simple thing is not having sex with your brother's uh, uh, wife. Simple things is like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's real simple, man. That's the law, man. And the first, once you fear the Lord, once you fear the Lord, then you can get the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, man. Then you understand. 